hey guys and welcome back to my channel this video is going to be about a guitar model i have created a while ago um, but this time the way i'm going to show you how to build this guitar will be a bit different and i will explain why and how i understand the excitement about building something you want or need and wanting to learn new things but uh, based on my previous videos and experience i learned that there is a limit to how much a person can learn and remember new information in a short period of time. Now, if I showed you all the steps how I made this model, first, this video will be more than an hour, maybe five hours, because there are tons of steps over here. And second, you won't be able to remember everything, even if you watch it once or twice, which is why I decided that we are going to do this differently this time, and it is very important that you will follow my guidelines. Remember, don't focus too much on the price and miss all the information about how we got there along the way. And the key to success is patience. So what we are going to do is this. I have listed important information uh, about this mod model that we are going to uh, walk through. And in the end, I will explain how you should continue. If you still have questions, or if you find it difficult to understand something, then you're more than welcome to contact, contact me on my forum and I will do my best to help you. So let's begin. So as usual, the first step is preparation and planning. Uh, preparation, for example, can be the drawing, uh, figure out the names of your components and figure out the grouping of the components, which means sub-assemblies and also um, think about which component you should start with okay uh, for example as you can see here um, the way i grouped the components i have the body i have the neck and in the end also have the strings so everything that relates to the <clears throat> sorry the body uh, all the components are right here and you can also see there is also some assemblies under this uh, under the body component sub assemblies and again it's just like um, sub assembly basically a folder okay uh, which you're putting everything inside so this is the first thing which is very important the structure and second of course it's also the uh, canvases okay the drawings that you're going to use that are going to help you uh, to create this model now for example i got this uh, i don't remember actually from where but this drawing so i uh, had to cut it into pieces um, in the file that you're gonna download it's, it's gonna be a zip file and inside i'm gonna give you uh, all the pieces all the uh, drawings so it's gonna save you some time but in general what i had to do is i needed to cut them into pieces okay so I had the front and I have the side view and I also have uh, specific pieces for the uh, neck itself and also for the uh, cross section of the body right here also. And then you're going to have to position them correctly. And this is, uh, this is something that you're going to spend some time. And if you're not going to do it or do it correctly, you're going to have problems along the way. Okay. And this is also regarding the measurements. Uh, check that you have uh, the measurements that you need, or, or anyway, the critical measurement. As you can see here, I don't have all the measurements. Um, so what I did is I found some pictures online and I did some estimation, okay? Also based on the information that I already have here. So I estimated, um, um, yeah, the me some <clears throat> different measurements. Um, if you don't know how to yeah, position um, canvases, please let me know. Um, this is um, basic knowledge in general that you need. Um, so if you need help with that, I also do a one-on-one -on -one training and you can always contact me through my website and I will uh, help you with that. <clears throat> so we got the uh, canvases in place and i've used for example a combination with um you know cal calibrated and sometimes also use the uh, resize function over here and um, yeah this one right here 
this one and sometimes I just had to change uh, only the length okay so um, the scalability yeah so this one is gonna scale everything everywhere and this one is gonna scale it only one direction this direction or this direction and it happened to me um, those drawings they're not 100 percent but uh, another thing you have to remember that if you look at the guitar on the side profile you can see that it is on an angle the the neck okay it's not straight and if you look at the picture right here for example in this one it's like flat it's like took a picture from above which means that in reality uh, there is a good chance that the neck is actually longer which is why I cut this piece right here and touched it okay and uh, luckily I also have the um, the measurement so it really helped me to get um, to the right length of this um, the neck so you will see exactly when you go through them uh, how you can see exactly how I position everything uh, ignore this one I don't know what is it doing right here but you will see that um, everything should be in place at the end okay um, moving on so again check measurements uh, this is something you're gonna have to deal with along the way uh, positioning the canvases also and yeah so now basically we're ready to start doing the sketches now uh, the way you begin it can be different from person to person what i did here is so first i created the sub assembly here and then i started working on the guitar body and inside the guitar body i've created the first sketch and this one right here as you can see give me a good uh, picture of let me just go into that yeah so you can see this is the first sketch that I've created um, of the body itself now sometimes I will use something called like a master sketch where I'm gonna sketch all the outlines of the, the body for example in this case I will sketch the body and the um, on the neck itself so now I have a picture of how it looks and and I also can use those sketches also to create components or maybe I'm gonna use them to project I'm gonna project them and uh, when I come to create um, a specific uh, component and I need um, the information from here so it's kind of uh, you know combination as long as it's not a really really complex then it's okay if it is complex don't create one which has a lot of geometries okay this is not good so it's better to divide it into smaller pieces so as you can see here I created for example the one piece here of the body and then I created the second one right here I wanted to create all of them at the same place and um, because then it will be much easier for me to figure out exactly how they sitting right beside each other as you can see here I took the measurement uh, from you know from each other as you can see okay so uh, but again it's completely up to you uh, how you want to do this uh, you can also see I have the neck okay on the same sketch right here it's the sketch number two so sketch number yeah two and three basically give me um, yeah the overall shape of the uh, of the guitar okay uh, from above and from the, the side now um, someone asked me a while ago about this section right here I believe I decided to create and uh, to make like a, a little bit flat at the top as you can see here I could have also make it uh, round it depends on each guitar to guitar if you want you can just make it you know more round okay whatever works best for you but based on this um, of the canvases that I got <clears throat> that's the shape that basically I got okay so um, yeah but you can basically change it as, uh, as you want now um, okay so I finish and then I start basically building all the uh, the pieces one by one um, 
and yeah i'm not going to go through again each step by step but they what you should do now uh, basically or in the, in the end i will explain you exactly how you should work through them now what i want to focus is um the neck on the neck section it's right here this is an area this one right here and right here those two areas are can be really really challenging can be very difficult to uh, perfect um i've seen people really struggling with this and um so let's see what i did here let me squeeze things up and look for red i'm just going to you know what isolate this one it's going, it's going to be easier <clears throat> So you can see now there is um, quite a lot of sketches here, which is okay, uh, as long as they are you know, separated. So as you can see, I don't have that many uh, geometries under each sketch. And this is, again, best practice in general. So let me just turn on the sketches. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn off the body so it's not going to bother us. <clears throat> Sorry and you can see now how i build it and i as far as i remember i've used here also yeah i've used the um the loft command here but uh, the process to get for example this um yeah this geometry right here this is really really interesting and um, this is something that i want you to figure out how i created this one right here uh, and i didn't create it manually uh, it's a really uh, really cool technique I've used it before uh, with other models but I want you to look at it because it's very important if you uh, find it difficult to understand just let me know in my contact me in the forum and I will help you uh, to dig a little bit more deeper into this one but this one it's it's actually uh, very very important because I've tried many ways of creating the shape to perfect it and this one actually gave me the best uh, results as uh, you can also see here it looks really 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 nice um really nice and smooth transition for everything here um yes so again dig into this go uh, i will show you again how to do this exactly so let's move on to the next one and we've got the uh the neck here um let me see where it is um i think it was uh, somewhere let me just keep turning them on yeah so it best it was almost the same i did it and you can also see here i also created those um rails that in the end helped me in ghetto gave me this shape right here um yeah Again, in the end, I'm going to show you exactly how to figure out how to analyze it, so uh, you will uh, understand exactly how I created it. Uh, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty happy with the result, uh, to be honest. It looks really, really nice, and it transitions also really nice to the rest of the of the body. It looks very natural in general. So I'm going to just turn off all of them again. Now, another thing you're going to notice is that. I haven't finished the, the guitar and that is on purpose because I want you to finish it. All the information that you need in order to uh, finish building this guitar is right here. If you will follow everything, all the steps, you understand all the technique and the tools, the combination that I've created, um, then you will be able to finish everything. Okay. For example, uh, the tuners right here, okay, uh, there's still a lot of work to do um, over here. And there are some few more areas where you need to uh, finish. So basically what I'm saying at this point, what I want you to do is open a new design and take the timeline all the way to the beginning. The easiest way to do it is to click on this button right here. That's going to bring you the design all the way to the beginning okay as I, as I always like to call it also as a time machine so now we're going back in time and then move step one step at a time okay and open it 
and investigate exactly what I did and how I did it, okay? How I position things and try to really understand. It's called reverse engineering. And then you should do the same exactly in, in the new file. And it's very important that you also doing it. Just watching someone doing, it's not going to get into your head, okay? Hey, you're not going to remember. So you're going to have to do it this way. And then you can see I created the first structure here of the body components, like that. And then I started uh, the designs, okay? I created, uh, you can click here and see where it is exactly. But this is uh, right here, okay? If you want to find it, let's see, find in the browser, you can see, you can tell you exactly where it is. So this is the one, and then you can open it, analyze it, and do it right here exactly the same, okay? You finish with this one, move on to the next one. Again, understand it, open it, and then do the same. And that's how you should do it, and that's how you're going to learn, and that's how you're also going to improve your knowledge, your skills, and you will see here a lot of things that you uh, uh, hopefully you haven't seen before, and you're going to learn a lot of really new cool stuff here, uh, because there are really tons, as you can see here, of all kinds of techniques and, yeah, and workflows to how to achieve a, a, this model, okay? Yeah, I can tell you that it was really, really fun. I've tried to find the best way of doing specific uh, components, but obviously there are also other ways. And if you find something that I did and um, you say, you're thinking that you actually have a better way of doing it, then please let me know, okay? Because I also want to learn new stuff all the time. And yes, so that's what you should do. Reverse engineer it, go step by step like that, okay? And really understand what I did here, okay? Now you can see here, so I created this extrude. And if you don't understand in the beginning why I created something, patience. Just continue, okay? Move on to the next part and to the next part and to the next part, okay? Uh, because at some point, you know, in the beginning, you don't really see the whole picture uh, at the beginning. And then at some point, um, when I finish, for example, building the parts, then you will understand, ah, okay, now I understand the steps and why he did what he did, okay? And so step by step, you will see uh, <clears throat> how things uh, come together. And yeah, so I guess uh, this is it. So this is the instruction and that I want you to uh, follow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the uh, guitar maybe a little bit raw we not uh, without all the um, images or the decals and everything that I've put on. So it's going to be something like that. You can just put your own, uh, you know, appearances on top of it as you like. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned before, if you have any questions, then just come over to my website if you uh, want one-on-one -on -one training. And uh, because if you if you cannot do this reverse engineering and you have problem working with the timeline. For me, basically, it's a sign that you need some, uh, yeah, you like, you need some basic training in Fusion 360. So just come over here, contact me, okay? Uh, ask uh, to know more about the one-on-one -on -one Fusion 360 training uh, that I give because I basically tailor them to each person individually. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take it from there. And if you are basically already know in general and you wanna know a more specific uh, about how I created something you know, or some or whatever something else so you can just come here to my, the forum and ask me any question that you want the file is also going to be here I'm going to put the link in the description and uh, for everything that you're going to need um, and again I hope you uh, enjoyed this video I hope you're going to enjoy the uh, this model uh, it took me a while to work on it I spent a lot of time to work on it working on it and of course if you like this video uh, please like it and um, yeah i'll see you in the next video bye bye